people movement is just that we got infiltrated from many, many different angles. But that's why we started the We The People movement here in Jamaica. Exactly for that. Because they tell us that we can't have a third party. But we can. And we must stand up against corruption and so on. We're joined by, we're going to get, we, we're going to talk about that later. We're joined by Ras McKay, radio presenter in the UK. Greetings, Ras. Yes, Ras McCoy. Uh, McCoy. Yes. How are you doing, my brother? Yes, I'm good. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, to celebrate the 132nd anniversary of uh, Marcus mm. Garvey's uh, existence on the planet. But first of all, which, which station are you coming from in the UK? Uh, Galaxy Affiliate. Okay, we community do. Radio yeah, yeah, station. we know of that station. Yeah, yeah. yeah we do know. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. We're very happy to have you in the place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we'd like to see IRFM take up uh, the banner and you know, and I raised Marcus Garvey to the forefront in a black people mind within the country and over the world at large because I from upon the internet. But <clears throat> what is sad is that black people back against the wall, like Marcus Garvey said, black people will not know themselves till them back is against the wall. But the problem is that black people back is against the wall and they don't know it. That is the problem. And so, we're 100 years behind where Marcus Garvey did, did, did start. Because Marcus Garvey galvanized six million people around the world in a one organization. In a time when people would have said it's more oppressive than no. Well, it's not really. Because the psychological warfare is as dangerous as the shackle. Yeah, and it's a mind, it's a mind now that has to well, be liberated, you see, not, and the psychology has to deal, I, th I think when you talk about psychology, you're talking about the mind, right? When you yeah, talk about psychological yeah. warfare. But it's not just a mind warfare, you know, it's a physical warfare as well, because you have economical factors, you have political factors, because they set the game in such a way that it's very hard for we come to. Because and this is why the theme, and honestly, you know, you're, you're hitting on the reason for the theme this year, yeah. which is One Africa, One Nation, against the background of um, the Africa Free Trade Continental Area, yeah. and the fact that we see Africa making a move uh, towards intra-Africa trade, and an African unity that we have never seen before. We say cautious optimism, but we're still looking at it and saying to ourselves that even for us in the diaspora, we have not necessarily embraced this renaissance that's occurring now in Africa, on the continent of Africa. The question then is why not? Why are we being left out of this conversation that is ongoing in Africa? And why do we see China driving that? And why do we see the UK and the European Union and so many others involved in that to, to the extent that, that we are? And we continue to be left out. Now we can continue to talk about it, but what do we do to change that situation? Well, exactly. It's not. It's pure talk. Nobody not doing. Marcus Garvey was doing. That's why Marcus Garvey did reach that uh, galvanized six of ships, but by ships and them thing there, and them thing there because he was doing something. Black people not doing nothing. Why are we now. not doing, do you think? Is there, uh, are we looking for another leader? Well, that's a part of the problem. And, and, and everybody should be a leader. You see, this is the thing. Everybody should have take it upon themselves as their responsibility to do what they're supposed to do. So yeah, in people, other words, I mean, we are sitting down waiting for another Gavi to come. Yes, and we want... We want <laughs> it's a very serious thing, you know. It's serious, of course. Yes. <laughs> we, we want a hundred million mind. I mean, one billion mind like what Marcus Gavi did have, and the energy and the strength what Marcus Gavi did have. You know, because when, they, when white man come to Africa, you know, all he did have was a little pistol, you know, and, you know, and he kidnapped people and take them and carry them come over there. No, you have nuclear bomb and satellite and space and them things there. So what we're up against far greater than what our ancestors did. I was about yeah. to ask that because outside of that, um, Marcus Garvey was at a time when black people were feeling it physically, it, it was more, it was visible in a sense, the oppression and all of that. Not that it's not now, but 
we are at a time where, where, where our African brothers and sisters across the world, many of them are feeling like everything is cool. I drive Benz, I drive Bima, I have four-story house, I own, own buildings, I own all kind of things. How do you then convince those people that, I mean, things are bad for Africans without him feeling that, look, I just a man who won't listen and no one do nothing for himself in life? Well, it, 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 you see, it's all about whether you like yourself or not. Some people like material things more than them like themselves. You understand? So, them can't hunger register in a them brain. Eh, them is not somebody unless them have a Benz. Them is not somebody unless them have a big house on the hill or a big apartment in town. So, them is nobody without eh, having these Is that addictive though, like drugs? I mean, but, I mean how many oh, people... Oh, the worst than drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, individually so, drugs. because there's nothing wrong with... Um, with being wealthy. No. But no. it's an individual. So I'm saying, I mean, um, how do you know the majority of us see? that things are bad for us as as as, as a people, well, as an, as a nation, well, would, as a race, when I mean some of us feel we are we are quite okay. We we, we, we have all we need in this life to, to be recognized and, 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 and to live fine, so to speak. We, we we can find them to the fact that if them go to America and them have a billion pound in a them account or them still get shot down on the street by a poor little policeman. And that's it, and that's the bottom line. Yes, you, you see, you also spoke about the individualism. And not in no come a bit. In the, yeah. Individualism also they not a poor, they not a strong racism of it. But guess what? You see, their collective individualism is going back to their motherland. So the Chinese man and the Chinese man in America and the Chinese man in Jamaica. You think them wealth is staying in Jamaica? Yeah. They're heading back to their motherland. But, but, but Roger, yeah. we, see, we see a difference in terms, in terms of their communal and community. Mm -hmm. We see a different... Uh, obviously, we are... Um, Post-traumatic slavery disorder yes. is what we have to put in. The destruction I of the... I don't like that word there, no I'm not post about it, you know. Right, but but it's I'm just saying it in terms of. Yeah, man, in, in, man, no, But I'm talking no, about I'm talking about okay. I'm talking about chattel shackles. slavery. I'm talking about chattel <laughs> slavery. Yes. So 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 that trauma of chattel slavery, yeah. uh, is, is chattel slavery is posed. But I, I understand that we're still enslaved. Um, but we have to throw that in. Then there is a community situation, um, the destruction of community and family, so that we're still trying to fix that which we haven't fixed yet. So that if you look at the other. Um, Races. Um, you're coming in from the UK, where we see how the Indian, um, how they rally around each other, how in in their, if if one family of Indians move in, the entire area is going to be Indian very soon. Give them a few years, yeah. and and we see how it's they live. Here in Jamaica, and right they, they they come with their custom and their culture, and we see the same <laughs> thing with the Chinese. Yes, and and that is because they look out for each other. Yeah. So that um, I lived across in the UK, you know, I lived in Leighton and I lived across from a house which never used to have Indians and then it had, had Indians. One house. And I watched that place, that entire neighborhood become Indian right under my watch within the space of three years. And how they did it. They were literally, ex some were sleeping at day and some were sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. And they kept coming in and rotating and rotating till they buy the house next door. And then buy the other one. And then rent the one down until the entire street was, was Indian. When I went to the UK, I was told when I was picked up at the airport, no, I have nothing to do with the African them. That's one of the first things. By the time you land, by the time you reach you thought you are going, even before you reach, you are then told the small island people are not easy. Yes, you understand? Sure, yeah. And that we are fighting against each other in many different ways. But, so, but, so, well, so, 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 again. and even to mm. this day, we have that situation. But, a syndrome. Not just in the UK, mm -hmm. but if you check here, if the Haitians come in, we yes. are the first one who to say, them send them home. We'll send them home. We're closest neighbors. But We're closest neighbors. Ka Kabo, in the UK, you know, when black, my parents' generation go up there, you know, and fierce, the hardship for them fierce. They pulled together like how the Indian them did. Yes, they did. This is why I may say yes. black people back against the wall and them not realize it. Them still asleep. Them need to be awakened. Yes. And th this is our job, like presenters, you know, and them think that if you awaken the black people and make them know who them is and what 
and, and make them find out them responsibility. Yeah, in other words, we have to use the, the mass communications the right way. Yeah. Well, but you know, sir, whether it's yeah. mass or mm -hmm. otherwise, uh, you know, because you see when tap yeah. come from the grassroots level, too, it, 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 it have that strength there where, where sometimes the mass media not really have that respect there. Well, say, but it, like, it can, oh, you know, but it's, it's just how you use it when you get it. Before, well, I before mean, you yes. came in, before you uh, came in, yeah. we were talking about the structures yeah. of enslavement that remain. Yeah. Um, politics, miseducation, and religion. Yeah. And I think that this is this is where we we have to. These are the structures we must hit at. Good morning to you. Everybody see me smiling, and everybody hear the smile in my voice. So good morning to you, Bhutan. But thank you so much for the incense. You can walk right here, sir, Andy. I just <laughs> just move the incense around. Look, what a nice outfit. Is that, hmm? I figure I was going to hype him up and make him feel nice. He's grass man. See him here? Oh. <laughs> Incense. The left one. <laughs> Inc yeah. We love it. Come, come Mutamba. Can we see you? Know, you're live on here. Is this Mutamba you're wearing? Yes. yes. So you're here today. Come, come right here. So we can, we can stream this live across the world. I love your earring. Thank you, my darling. My darling niece. How are you doing? I'm good, Auntie. How is that? How's that? Oh boy, we were just talking about that a while ago.